Show presented by Rocket Mortgage next Saturday. It's an SEC on CBS doubleheader beginning at noon Eastern with either LSU, Arkansas, or Missouri and Tennessee. Rick's on the road for that. Uh, and then it's Alabama rolling into Oxford to battle Ole Miss. He said he's going. Bye, Felicia. We don't know where he's at, obviously. Uh, but we're going back to the highlights right now. And earlier on CBS, Air Force taking on Army in Arlington. Falcons going for the first commander in Chiefs trophy since 2016. But Jamel Jones, Me want to keep it. Mr. Mr. Jones. It was Army, and then it was Azeek Daniels with his wheels and with his arm leading Air Force to the first CIC trophy since 2016. And the Falcons' defense. Now, Oregon is just water skiing the wave behind the Georgia boat now, Rick, and uh, having fun against uh, Colorado today. A razzle-dazzle in Boulder for the number eight team in the land. Bo Nix catching the touchdown pass here. Uh, and here, going back and hitting tight end Maliki Matava, and who does a little uh, swan dive into the end zone. And just to finish it off, it's more Nix into the end zone. Outstanding by Oregon. Uh, listen, their lone loss is to week, Georgia. Week one. We have one now, Tennessee, with a lone loss to Georgia. Those two are going to be compared against each other in that committee room. Indeed. And they have scored 40 points in every game since that blowout loss to Georgia. And the more weeks that pass, the better for the Ducks right now. Yeah, no, no doubt. They're looking at superb. Uh, and it looks as though they may uh, win the, uh, the Pac-12. Still a big game with Utah looming and, of course, a conference championship game. But this definitely helps Georgia's resume, the fact that they dispatched them so easily and now knocking off the number one team in the college football rankings helps as well. Because if you guys were ordering your teams a second ago, we didn't even get to Oregon. Right. They're in a great position here. They've got Washington, Utah, Oregon State. That's a murderer's row for them. If they get through that, the committee will recognize it. All right, let's get back to the highlights now. And Illinois, a one-loss team, entering the day atop the Big Ten West. Michigan State, eight players suspended, BJ. They rallied after the week they well, had. Apparently they suspended the right players uh, because they got a W. Jerry Broussard, yeah, clap on there. He clapping and glad he ain't reading, uh, you know, press releases or whatever he was trying to read the other day. Peyton Thorne finds his favorite target, Jake Reed. Yeah. Hangs on. yeah, they scored 23 on the number one scoring defense. North Carolina, another one loss team. They're just going back and forth with Virginia today, Rick. Unbelievable back and forth game. Here is uh, the hot quarterback, uh, Drake, Bay. <laughs> Drake Bay, hitting Brennan Armstrong. Uh, down, oh, excuse me, Drake Bay to Josh Downs right there for the touchdown. North Carolina outstanding all day in the conclusion. Drake May, clearly the best quarterback in the ACC. Yeah, he just keeps chucking it. They're atop the ACC Coastal. And perhaps the best story going right now, Kansas wow. is back in a bowl for the first time since 2008, BJ. And Devin Neal is running like he wants to go to that bowl right now. Man, he was shot out of the cannon. Then Jason Bean to Lawrence Arnold on the fade route. Congrats, Jayhawk! They had lost 44 straight to ranked teams. That's over. A&M's losing streak, though, Rick, is not over. A&M is on some hard times. A-Chain trying to get the home crowd into it. Gets into the end zone early. But it was Anthony Richardson after that, showing his immense promise as the quarterback. And signal call for Florida. Beautiful throw right there to Jaquavian Frazier's. And then uh, he avoids a couple of defenders here, as only he can. Another touchdown pass, big day for Richardson, four total touchdowns. And a &M dealing with the flu along with uh, that losing streak. Uh, Penn State gonna do that to you. tied here with Indiana and uh, opening some holes, PJ. Running game got going, Katron Allen there for the Nittany Lions, and Allen is going to elude a few tacklers and run over a few tacklers and elude a couple more and get in the end zone. Indiana going from 3 and 0 to 3 and 5 now 3 and 6 as Penn State dominates on the road. Uh, Syracuse look that away Adam. Look Adam. away Adam. 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 It's okay Adam. Rodney Hammond right here up the gut for 6 yards 7 3 pit early. Then Sebo Flemister finishing off the drive. 17 6 pit. Look away Adam. It's Flemister to you. Yes, <laughs> Alexander sacks Carlos Dillard for a safety to seal it. 19 9 pit. Syracuse has lost 3 in a row. They have. And uh, Pitt's won 16 of 18 against them. How about this interesting matchup? Arkansas's non conference schedule just never gets any easier. 21 0 after this play, BJ. Oh my god, he had all time, all the time. In the and a little bit more time, he finds Treon Sibley, Sibley with the grab, and then K.J. Jefferson trying to bring the Hogs back. Trey Knox, great catch, two-point conversion to tie it. The knee is down, the ball is not crossed the goal line. Liberty, the play. They've won six.
six straight now. Hugh Freeze heard his name a lot this week. Uh, early goings here from Alabama at LSU. Bryce Young, is he going to do? He's going to oh. go. Oh. Oh. oh, big. Oh, no. Great play by the LSU defense. Everybody who watches that has seen that a hundred times, and it's always a touchdown yes. Alabama. Yep. Not tonight in the Bayou. And in case you didn't read through this whole thing earlier, some of the superlatives from Saturday. Air Force, Commander-in-Chief's Trophy, heading their way for the first time since 2016. TCU 9-0 for the first time since 2010. Ohio State didn't score a lot. They scored enough to set an FBS record for consecutive games with 20 or more. And you got to love the Jayhawks. And I don't know what's going on with Oklahoma State, but snapping a 44-game losing streak. So excited for Lance Lightbulb. That's yeah. coaching, right? You go in there, you yeah. build a culture, you get a bunch of players to believe. That, that, that scoreboard in Lawrence, Kansas has been outstanding this year. It said 5-0 and at one point, and today it said bowl eligible. <laughs> Way to go, Jay. And, and he brought in a whole host of, of transfers as well. Had to get them to buy in and solidify that culture. And now what he's done, we'll see if he, it's sustainable and whether or not they can hold on to him as their head coach. Portal for some, not for others. And you heard Kirby Smart in his interview with Jenny Dell saying, we didn't take anybody from the portal. And Georgia showed what it takes to be number one. And They don't have to. <laughs> yeah, right. They, they already got everybody. everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful season though, thus far for Kirby. Unfortunately, the schedule just didn't allow anybody to really kind of dive deep and see how good they are because of so many of the names that changed. This performance today in front of a raucous crowd. Give that crowd a heck of a, a kudo too he because too, yeah. that was uh, incredible the amount of procedure uh, penalties they forced upon Tennessee. What he did today as far as that game plan, simplifying it and saying we're not going to do anything exotic, we're going to go out there and we're just going to man up and play these guys because I believe in you. That's going to resonate and build more trust in that locker room as if it was, already, if, if, as if it was lacking because it wasn't but when your coach has that type of love and respect and confidence yep. you, that goes a long way. Mississippi State next for the dogs. And that'll do it for today. Tonight on CBS begins with East New York, followed by back-to-back -back editions of 48 Hours. The NFL on CBS continues tomorrow with a doubleheader. Most will see the Bills and Jets, followed by the Rams and Buccaneers. It all gets started at noon Eastern with the NFL Today. And thank you for watching the Post Game Show presented by Rocket Mortgage. For all of us, have a great night. See you next week. Do the Stetson. <laughs>